गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इंडिया हंट फॉर क्रिटिकल मिनरल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज Recently the center declared the winning bidders for mining rights in six blocks of critical minerals including graphite phosphorite and lithium for which India largely relies on imports these are the first private players awarded such rights under the revamped mines and minerals law now let's discuss why are critical minerals important minerals such as copper lithium nickel and cobalt are known as critical minerals as they along with some rare earth elements are essential for the world's ongoing efforts to switch to greener and cleaner energy as per the international energy agency or iea Lithium demand rose by 30% in 2023 followed by nickel cobalt graphite and rare earth elements which saw an 8% to 15% growth with an aggregate value of such minerals pegged at 325 billion US dollars In its global critical minerals outlook 2024 report The agency has flagged that the world's goal to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius in the net zero emissions scenario would translate into a very rapid growth in demand for these minerals. In India, the lack of ready reserves of critical minerals has resulted in 100% import dependence for minerals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. Now let's understand what is being done to spur production. While India has natural reserves of some of these minerals, they have not been explored or tapped fully. For instance, India holds 11% of the world's deposits of ilmenite, the main source of titanium dioxide used in many applications. but still imports a billion dollars of titanium dioxide a year the reliance on a few nations for the ores and processing of these minerals could pose significant vulnerabilities for indian supply chains the central government amended the mines and minerals development and regulation act 1957 in august 2023 to enable it to grant mining concessions for 24 critical and strategic minerals however there is low interest among miners for some of these blocks as per industry experts the reasons for low interest include the lack of adequate data on the potential reserves buried within them technology challenges also affect outcomes Now let's discuss when is domestic production likely to begin. Given the preliminary stage of exploration for most of the domestic blocks being auctioned, their commercialization and associated benefits are unlikely to fully accrue in the current decade ending 2030. Apart from spurring exploration and attracting more miners, The center is looking to acquire overseas assets from key resource rich regions as a parallel measure to bolster mineral security. India has also joined the USA led Mineral Security Partnership, a block consisting of large buyers and sellers of critical minerals. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about critical minerals. One, ilmenite is the most important ore of titanium and the main source of titanium dioxide. Two, the Global Critical Minerals Outlook 2024 report is published by the United Nations Environment Program. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.
For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.